Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to Korea, where we're in the process of annexing our vassal Mongolia. And we just took over a whole bunch of land here in northern China. So I need to rename some of this stuff. This is South China, obviously. You like my silent keyboard? And this is East China. And I guess this should be SW China. Oh no. Northwest China. And this can be Southwest China. Perfect. Perfect. So we have China, North China, East China, South China, Southwest China, and Northwest China. Awesome. Can't core any of this shit yet. We'll get there eventually. Uh oh. The clergy are upset. Clergy, no. Don't be upset, clergy. We can be friends. We can still be friends, clergy, can't we? Uh, where's my high. Oh, there we go. There's some high. Oh, that go into the merchant guild. Wait, why do you go to the merchant guild? I don't know, it just does. Here you go. Now they're happy. Now we're looking at rivaling Wu, so let's get that out of the way. Ah, Wu. All right, let's start building a spy network here. We're going to have to eat a whole bunch of Wu if we want to get control of this trade node. So I guess the idea is, if we control this node, we can push from there to Beijing. We shouldn't have to keep a merchant here to collect. No, let's not use a merchant to collect. Let's use a merchant here to transfer. Yeah. And we should move our trade capital here to China. That is a good plan. Turn off our fort. Our tech has balanced a little bit. We still need more Diplo tech. And yeah, our military tech is just getting crazy good. I wonder who would join if I declared on Wu today. Because he's still busy in a war. He's winning, but he's still busy. He's allied to Min and Chu. Oh, he lost some allies. Oh, of course, because I was an ally that he lost. And he was also allied to Yan, and he lost that. So he's just allied to Chu and Min. Chu, I know, has about 20 guys, and Min probably has like 10. Maybe 12. So let's say 32 plus whatever Wu has. Wu, what do you have? Wu has 32. So about 64,000 troops. That's a lot of troops, really. I think I can handle it, though. I think I can handle it. In fact, his allies may not join. Depends how fucked up they are from this current war. Because they're both in this current war. Alright, one more month we can start coring South China. Alright, so we're currently at four out of four relations, but one of them is just our marriage here. And I'm pretty sure he'll break our... Oh, I can break the marriage now, huh? I rivaled him so I can break the marriage. Right, 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 right. Alright, come on back. Let's go ahead and get some claims. I mean, I can only claim these two. Because of the sea tile here. But once I own Yangzhou, then I can claim more. So why don't we go to war for just these two provinces? Just get them out of the way. Holy shit, it takes a long time to come home from Muscovy. But yeah, if you rival someone, you can break a marriage without losing stability, which is really nice. It's very convenient. Oh, another manufacturing time. Manufactory. All 
All right, we're almost home. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yes. Who would join against me? Probably all of them. Yeah, they would all join. But we have a truce anyway, so there's no rush. What I'm thinking is we should probably sneak another alliance somewhere. We have Shu right now. And we have Liang as a vassal. Maybe we could sneak an alliance with Shun. Because you hate Wu, right? No, you don't hate Wu. Who hates Wu? Sai. Oh, he doesn't want an alliance because we're still we're still too far away. Damn it. That's so silly. We could probably do UA. Even Ning might be good. I mean, we're going to have to beat up Yue at some point. I might as well use him to help fight Wu, though. Hmm, the other option is I could vassalize Ming. And I could vassal feed him. I kind of don't like that idea, though, because Twitch chat pointed out that he's been collapsing a lot lately, and he'll just collapse again if I vassalize him. And if he collapses, he'll just lose all of his land. So that's probably not the best option. Hmm. All right, I'll do UA. Quantity? Defensive? Hmm. When's our truce up? 1601. Four years. Alright. I'll do it. Temporary alliance with UA. How many points do we get a month? 13 Monarch points a month? That's a lot. Still not enough to core everything, though. Man, that is a gigantic Commonwealth. Cyanex Khmer. Yeah, I really want to work towards an alliance with Psy. We can't do it yet because we're too far away, but I think as we get closer together, we should be able to do it. Has a giant army. Holy crap. Last time I looked, he had 32,000 troops. He's bumped it up to 44,000. All right, tell you what. We're going to beef up our army a bit. What are we going to get? Oh, 
Austria is the emperor. Man, we're, we're going to get all these empire pop-ups now. Not that I give a shit about empire. The fuck? Did we just get a rebellion? rebellion? Was there any warning about that? Am I just oblivious? Did I not notice there were rebels? I must not have noticed. 38,000. Okay. I wonder who Wu is going to ally after this war is over. Because he can't ally anyone during the war. But after the war, he sure can. Come on. Come over here and fight me, bro. Fight me, bro. No, oh, he's walking away from me. Damn it. You're going the wrong way, you little shitter. You're supposed to fight me. Bro. Well, there's the peace offer. Oh my god, UA. UA got wrecked. He lost 12 development, 19 development. He lost 31 development. And he was forced to release this. So he lost... Oh my god. He lost that too. Well, that might not be such a good old ally anymore. He got fucking crushed. Come this way or what? There's hills over here if you'd like to come this way. It'd be nice. Now he's walking towards Kyoto. Echizen. He's going that way. All right. I'll meet you there, bro. Who's this? UA. Uh, no, no marriage. It's a little too, you know. Solid of an alliance. I like my allies to be more fluid. Holy shit, these rebels, man. I honestly did not expect this many rebels. Now you gotta walk all the way back over here. 80% revolt, revolt risk. Well, we got lots of revolt risk. That was quick. general died. Well, shit. I'll hire a new one, then. Wow. Okay. It's better than nothing, I guess. 40 tradition gives me a 1-3. It's not terrible, but it's pretty crap.
on the boat you go. Come on. Take the ferry. Come on. Dock up. Get more troops. Dock up and get more troops. 47% annexation progress on Mongolia. It takes a long time to annex him. Hmm. Okay, we're at 90%. I really don't want to take a loan here. And I also really don't want to fund my troops all the way. How much morale do they have? 2.37 out of a max of what? What's the max? That's weird that it doesn't show you your max. Okay. 2.37 plus 0.84 is 3.321. Something like that. Yeah, 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 hurry up. Some big war in Europe, I don't give a shit. It's Europe, no one cares. I got places to go, things to do. There we go. There, mothball the fleet for now. Save a little cash, Aruni. Now it says we're making five ducats a month. Why don't I believe that? There's no way. Is there? Apparently it is. Okay. Fund the army all the way then. I'm going to spawn in southwest China and damming. Oh, now they're not going to spawn at all. Huh. Okay. They just had to stand there and they go away. Nice. Cores are rolling in. Fantastic. That is a nice province, too. Hibe. How much development is Hibe? We got discovered. That sucks. Hibe. 88 development. The only one that has more is Jilin with 110 development. Yeah, but Jilin is massive. Nine provinces. How many are in Hibe? Like six? Yeah, six provinces in Hibe. So on average, the Hibe provinces are worth a lot more than the Jilin provinces, but because there are more Jilin provinces, it's more development overall. Oh my god, the bot still says Shen Coffee. Shen Coffee doesn't exist anymore. Hey, free stability. Thanks to this guy. Master of Mint Yuan Ryu Yuan Yuan Ruang Sin. The mint is functioning at full efficiency and the coinage has never seen has never been so pure. And he's the person responsible. Well, I'll take the free stability. Thank you so much. I mean, the other option is pretty good, too. 50 prestige is nothing to shake a stick at, but I always take stability first. Pretty fucking cool. Okay, so as these cores come in, we'll start getting our corruption down again. For now, we're still getting corruption, but that'll go away. That'll change. Actually, I can lower the funding as soon as these rebels are gone. Like, if I go to half funding, does this still drop? Yes, it does. Also, I got discovered fabricating in Wu. That sucks. But I did get my two claims. So as soon as our truce is up, we can just go in there and stomp his face. He is big, and he is scary, but if we don't get in there soon, he's just going to be a problem. He's got 45,000 troops, and we're at 52,000. Yeah, if we don't get in there, he's going to be a problem, so we might as well get in there.
I need two more cannons, two more cav, two more infantry. Let's get two more cannons, six more cav, and 12 more infantry. That sounds reasonable. All right, lower the funding. Excellent diplomacy. I'll take the diplomatic points, thank you. We are trying to catch up on Diplotech. So the only provinces that are not states are this province, which we're not going to turn into a state, and this province, which we'll turn into a state after we've annexed Mongolia. Have you fabricated? Nope. Goddamn, my vassals aren't fabricating on nobody. Wow, Mongolia is not even... He's not even coring this province. He's converting it to Tengri, which I'm going to have to convert back later. What a jerk. Mongolia is just the worst vassal. Why did I ever get Mongolia as a, as a vassal? What a useless vassal. Truce is up next year. Shu wants help against Ming. Sure. I don't have to I don't even have to lift a finger here, do I? I'm not gonna do anything. Stop funding the army. Oh wow, that's a good general. Three, two, four. Wow. Lose admin points or take a loan to get admin points. I think the loan is more worth it. Yeah, I'll take a loan. I don't like taking a loan, but I'll take a loan. Hey, hey. All right. We now have the Kyujangak. To assist in the administration of Korea, we will create a huge royal library to act as a repository for knowledge. With this, we seek to advance the great Korean culture. 10% cheaper ideas for the rest of the game. So that, combined with this, gives us 20% cheaper ideas for the rest of the game. That's kind of cool. This is the best one, though. Autonomy. I need that. I need that. Centralization is so good. Ooh, lose mercantilism or lose loyalty. Yeah, fuck your loyalty. I ain't losing mercantilism for nobody. You know what's interesting here is this is Wu's ally, right? Yeah. So if I were to declare on Wu during this war, Chu could not join against us. That is pretty interesting. Granted, we're already at war with Chu, but that doesn't matter to me. Look at Ming being sneaky over here. I actually have to fund my army now. Fuck you, Ming. Look at him being sneaky. 